friends now we are starting the new chapter which is focused on the construction and mining machines in the sense like the hydraulic excavators bulldozers motor graders wheel loaders etc etc so far we have discussed in detail about the automobiles commercial automobiles and passenger automobiles the complete power train in the automobiles that is right from the engine to the final drives and also the brakes steering system suspension system etc etc now in this new chapter we are starting with the very widely used machine which is called the hydraulic excavator which is used in various construction and infrastructure activities and also in the mining activities the first two two videos i will be explaining about the evolution of the hydraulic excavator then the a brief about the basics of the hydraulics then followed by the critical parts involved in the hydraulic system then then onwards i'll be explaining in detail about each and every critical part of the excavator now this video i'll be talking about the evolution of the hydraulic excavators this is the irrigation projects which is constructed with a lot of activities the basic activities making the foundation that is digging or excavating the material from the bed surface and also then the construction of a dam that is after the excavation or the foundation then the material the mat, the material has to be transported from somewhere else and construct this dam the buildings to construct any building foundation is necessary and to make the foundation digging or excavation is necessary then extracting the ore from the mines this is a purely excavation or digging job then laying the roads it is a road or the railroads the base at the, the at the surface has to be prepared by excavating some of the material and again further material has to be brought from other place filled up and the compaction etc has to be done so here also excavation or the digging job is involved the excavation or the digging work is involved in all walks of our life okay even for burying the dead bodies also so these jobs how they were doing in the in the complete excavation jobs were performed purely through the manual labor this is some ore being taken out through the manual labor here the excavating a canal from here through the manual labor so as the time progressed now we are doing all this excavation job with a mission which is called the hydraulic excavator this mission is to doing the job of digging a canal irrigation canal how this mission is evolved let us spend few minutes in this video the person from manual labor slowly started implementing small metallic tools what we have shown here these are the tools this is the sharp tool for digging the surface and this is the one called shovel for picking the material and this is called hauler whatever is material is picked here is being loaded into this then again from there it is being transported to the required place so from hands they move to the metallic tools a civil engineer from usa by name sir william wotis has invented a shovel operating with the steam power in 1839 he has invented this machine which was used mainly for the mining and also for laying railroads in few months this machine has further developed like this structurally this machine was moved on the tires and towed manually and this machine is being used for laying the railway tracks how this machine was operated this machine was having mainly three structural components this is the bucket this is the main implement which is used to pick the material and also to ship the material from this place to the other place so when this is rotated like this with the help of this rope the bucket was loading and again when you release the rope the bucket tilts downwards the material was unloaded 
this is supported to some structure called boom this rope movement that is winding or unwinding pulling up or releasing down was operated through the cable drums that is rope drums which were operated through the steam presser this mission as added with another component called the dipper arm this dipper arm is used to move the bucket forward and reverse and also to certain extent to create a digging force to the bucket the mission superstructure was moving this is called superstructure is the base was moving through the manual force as the time progress our engineers have invented the electric rope shovel this figure is whatever shown here is the electrically operated shovel which is called the electric rope shovel the power source to this mission is from the electricity line and this mission is also having a cable drum which is used to wind and unwind the cable power cable because the mission should have some flexibility to move forward and reverse when it is in operation and also mission should swing 360 degrees during picking the material and unloading the material in the dumper or the hauler this mission has the implement structures that is this is the boom then this is the dipper arm and the main implement this is the bucket all these are mounted to the this yellow portion is called the superstructure all these implements are connected to a rotating drums inside the mission with friction clutches through these wire ropes which acts as pulling the structural parts by the operator the complete control is under the operator rotating drums are driven by the electric motors power received from the outside the cable and all the controls including the brakes are in the operator's cabin mission movement that is forward and reverse or sideways and also the swing action also done by the electric motors through the reduction gear mechanism there is a circle gear the bearings to support the superstructure on the base frame and also give to to give the swing operation small and medium duty electric shovels have become absolute now due to their complex design uh i mean laborious maintenance and low productivity however the larger capacity electric rope shovels are still in mining operations as they are equipped with all the latest technologies these electric rope shovels are replaced with hydraulic excavators which are prominent since four decades these are the hydraulic excavators all the small and medium hydraulic excavators are powered with the diesel engines for ease and quick mobility however some higher capacity hydraulic excavators are powered with the electricity which is being used in the major mining operations this is the large mining excavator this is probably powered with the electrical electricity electric hydraulic excavator this is the diesel powered hydraulic excavators before going to the hydraulic excavator just let us look at this figure having various critical components of the electric rope shovel this complete white portion is called the superstructure which holds the complete machinery inside that is the drums with clutch plates that is friction clutches this is called the gantry this is the operator cabin and the bottom one is the base frame here this is the base frame and this is a swing circle bearing where the round gear teeth and also bearing is placed here to support this heavy superstructure and the superstructure also connected with the metallic structural frame this is the boom and this is the dipper arm and this is the bucket and here the swing gear unit is to rotate this 360 degrees a mechanism is provided here this is called the undercarriage which is run forward or reverse 
through the mechanism provided here. This is final drive gear mechanism. Both the swing gears and the final drives are powered with the electric motors. And the ropes are connected to the drums as already discussed. The rope shovel looks like this. You can see the machine. These are the cables, power cables. And this is the bucket which is being in operation. I mean downloading the material in a hauler. When it comes to the hydraulic excavator, that is our main subject, you can see the hydraulic excavator ranging from as small as 0.1 cubic meters, that is running with approximately 50 horsepower engine, slightly bigger than this. Further, big mission. You can see the cabin size in compared to the total mission size. The smallest one, slightly bigger one, further bigger one, and further bigger one. And this is the giant. See the size of the a man standing with the mission. So we can see the hydraulic excavators of bucket capacity ranging from this is the bucket ranging from 0.1 cubic meters to up to 50 cubic meters capacity running with 50 horsepower engine to 5000 horsepower engine so this many varieties of missions can be seen in the present working why hydraulic excavators or the, what are the advantages of the hydraulic excavators over the earlier electric rope shovel is hydraulic excavators are very much compact in size, efficient in productivity and can be operated with ease and less fatigue. This is the picture showing all the critical parts of a present generation hydraulic excavator. The excavator is divided into two major parts. This light color one here or the yellow color one here is called the super structure and the bottom one is called the base frame. You can see this super structure. The super structure revolves 360 degrees over the base frame and the revolving mechanism is provided here. This one is having a circular gear supported over the bearing. And which are the components you can the superstructure is having majority of the critical component that the basic one the first one is the engine which is the prime power source to the mission and an hydraulic pump that is the main pump coupled to the engine which gives the hydraulic oil flow to the complete mission then the control walls then the hoses and tubes the cylinders on this structural components called the boom which is used for lowering or rising the complete bucket like this here you can see this and this is called the arm or stick which is used for the forward and inward movement of this bucket and the other main implement is the bucket which is meant for picking the material carrying and unloading at required place and superstructure also holds the cabin where the operator sits and control the mission. Then the base frame is having the undercarries. These are called undercarries. The undercarries contains again the track chain which gets the grip from the ground surface to hold the mission firmly during loading or to move the mission from one place to the other place. Then supported with the guiding rollers these are called track rollers and the top two rollers are called the carrier rollers further this is also having idler wheels on both sides this is for guiding the track at one side supporting the track or guiding the track and the other side the rotating wheels are provided which are called the sprocket wheels the sprocket wheel gets the drive from the final drive component which is shown here and the final 
drive components get the power through a hydraulic motor so this is how the hydraulic excavator works we will discuss in detail in the coming videos three pages of notes if you have any queries please contact me through the email